Five days and counting. The clock is ticking down on a strike vote by Portland school teachers. Folks, it's almost, it's right after 430. And thanks for being with us. I'm Dan Tilkin. And I'm Jenny Hansen. Right now, teachers and district negotiators are in those contract talks with a mediator. Lisa Balick is taking the negotiations beyond the headlines today. Lisa, you found out where the city has plans to swoop in and put an end to all of this. That's right, Dan. I talked with the mayor, and the reason we're in Tigard right now is this is the headquarters for the Oregon Education Association. That's where both sides are holed up, but I went to the mayor today to ask him if he will put up more money to help end this. It would be very harmful to the quality of life in Portland if we were to have a strike. One-on-one -on -one today, I asked Portland Mayor Charlie Hales if teachers vote to strike, would the city step in with money? That's happened in the past. In 2003, just before a teacher strike vote, then Mayor Vera Katz helped avert the strike by getting the city council to raise $20 million, increasing the business license fee. Today. I asked Mayor Hales if he'll find money to hire more teachers, lower class sizes, and avoid a strike. Is there the potential for any kind of extra city money to help out? There really isn't the potential for the city to step in, as was the case in some past years. Our budget is better than it was, but there's no extra. The mayor also told me he's conferred with the county leaders and they are saying the exact same thing. Now, by the way, the mayor leaves for a trip to South Africa on Sunday, so he will be gone next week if the teachers go ahead and proceed with a strike vote. Live in Tigard, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.